just you're coming up to 100 caps which is it's ridiculously long <laughs> you know you seem to have been there forever you know and uh, you were all starting I mean you surely you're older than I am at this stage not quite no not quite indeed but um, you know when we started uh, w- like we were in the same team in, in 2000 did you think you were going to get a decade no not at that age because I was 26 then so I suppose if I thought maybe if I got five six years out of it I would have been probably would have been happy with it I said but then when I did get to five or six years it wasn't and I wanted to keep going so thankfully I've been lucky enough to be able to do that Do you feel you've achieved all the things you'd like to have achieved? Uh, probably some things I've achieved more than I would have ever thought I would have done but then when you do get a taste for like last year you know you want, want to maybe taste it again And um, you know what's it like what's an ordinary week for, for John Hayes not an international week but say this finishes up the game against Scotland what do you do on the Sunday and Monday after that probably head home and spend time at home my family you know that's always been good like you know is to get a bit of time at home especially after an intense period like the Six Nations are you still stuck into the farm yeah to be cold starting to calve now soon so it'll be busy times and, and now how is that like for most people professionalism is is seven days a week you know every hour of the day um, you're kind of doing both of them is that the release does it get you away from all the pressure of the tension definitely yeah um, I always find it good when I get a down day or a half day or whatever that to get away home for a while instead of being immersed in it the whole time is actually good for you when you come back into the after for to train again you're raring to go do you still you kind of disappear a bit early after the matches <laughs> do you do that all the time or um, is it a special dispensation from kidney can you get home um, no like if I have to go out to the dinners or whatever, like it's just if there's a day off or something like that, I always try and avail of going home as much as I can. Um, I want to. There's a great sign. Go on, bolt <laughs> is your field. That's in in Munster. Yeah. Um, can you give any explanation for that? I don't. I don't know the people who put it up, like, but I presume it's from the movie The Field, like uh, that uh, John B. Keen wrote that Rich Harris was in. So I just presume someone took the the line from that and just used it, like. But there is a, a great feeling, um, I don't know whether it's it's like a maternal nature, a protective nature on you. I mean, the, the, for around the country, for, you know, not the ordinary ru- or the traditional rugby supporters. You seem to have galvanised half the rural agricultural um, community into support of one man. Um, I mean, that's, you're an icon, right? <laughs> a farming icon. No, I, don't, I wouldn't say it's just, um, it's just unique to me now, and to some of the other lads as well, like, you know, that have that are now starting to come from country areas, I suppose, that are playing playing rugby, like even Shawnee O'Brien, I know he got injured at the weekend, but he's from Carlo. He's a farmer as well. So and over the last number of years, like with the way teams have started to you know, the club teams have started to to um become more prominent around country clubs like and stuff like that, that there is more country people playing the game now. But a lot of that has come from John Hayes, from the fact that you're the trailblazer. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I think some of it is down to you know good work by the the IFU with the, the youth development officers and stuff like that, where they're going into what was maybe non traditional rugby playing schools and stuff like that. You know to get to get uh, children from those places playing. You get a bit of criticism from times they slag off your scrummaging and stuff like that. How do you how do you take all that? I suppose you have to look at it first. Like you know, sometimes if if you do get criticised, it's it's fair enough. Like if if there was a bad game, like I'm not going to say I played every game that I was brilliant like you know and you just look at it and you take your own you be, like most players do they're their own worst uh, critics like you know harshest critics and I look at the tapes myself and then I'll make my own decisions on whether I was right or wrong Now your wife is a pretty decent rugby player in her own right she would she yeah. give you a bit of um, harsh criticism would she pick apart your game? <laughs> nah we don't do anything like that you know we talk about the game or whatever that, but we wouldn't be sitting down kind of going through it going through the video stop and stuff like that there's, there's a, a couple of guys that that used to happen to actually um, <laughs> actually I'm one of them my oh, wife is a great one of tearing apart my game um, is the buzz still there I mean what keeps you going at, at this stage you've been playing for an awful long time and um, deservedly so but what keeps you going keep driving um, I suppose it's still just enjoying it um, I've been lucky to remain injury free which I think has helped from judging just from some of the other lads that you'd have heard about yourself included where injury started to, to pick up and it was getting too hard to, to get going again on a 
on the week after a game whereas I've just been lucky that when Monday Tuesday rolls around I'm able to get up and get going again I seem to be just able to do it like and um, still enjoying it like you know getting the like last year winning a Grand Slam and stuff like that does help to keep you going and now looking at, at Twickenham it hasn't been the, the fortress it was in times past um, how do you set about going out there again you know they seem to be on a little bit on the up um, there's a query whether Ireland are on the edge of going back down again you know, how do you view this game it's a huge game for us especially having lost last Saturday but we're going to we're going to Twickenham you know which is a hard place to go and win because the last time we were there two years ago we lost like you know but we have to go back over again and try and get, get back on the road after the losing in Paris just back to the farm again would you tell me the last thing the last day you spent on the farm what was your what was your day well the last day was on it was just Sunday before I came back up here so there was a there was a lot of snow on it after Saturday night so we just just myself and dad just cleaned out the yards for the sheds and uh, the sheds for the cattle and fed them that was it just a Sunday job you wouldn't be doing too much it's kind of like a throwback to the old GA guys who play in all Ireland on a Saturday on, on a on a Sunday or whatever and walk six miles back to the farm to, 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 to milk the cows there's a bit of that is it ah uh, yeah, well, if I'm at home in Limerick now, I would always get home as much as I can. Like, say, if we played a match in Limerick, you'd be always out in the morning after, yeah. A bit of fresh air. How long would you like to play on for? I've been asked that now the last year or two, like... Sorry for asking another boring question. But no, um, but it's, it's, an obvious, it's an obvious question. Um, as long as I stay injury-free and I stay enjoying it, I think is the is really the important one, like, you know, because it's a great place to be. I love doing it. And as long as I'm able to and want it, I'd stay doing it. Get the bull, get the bull, get the bull!